Okay, we gotta get something straight, because I've seen a whole lot of hysteria across the internet about whether we're eating figs with wasps inside. So, fig wasps lay their eggs in male figs, which are inedible, but they have the male flowers. They're called caprifigs, and from the outside, it's really hard to tell them apart from female figs, which are the ones we eat. The pregnant female wasp enters the caprifig through the eye. She lays her eggs, and the males hatch first. They impregnate the female babies. Yep, their own sisters. And while well, they're still in their eggs. The males then bore a hole outside of the fig for the females to escape when they hatch. When the already pregnant females are born, they rub against the male flowers on the way out, covering themselves in pollen. Now they go looking for a new capra fig to lay their own eggs in, but often they crawl into a female fig because they can't even tell them apart. As the wasp enters the female fig, the pollen from the capra fig rubs off her body and fertilizes the flowers, which causes that fig to swell and ripen into the delicious fig we know and love. Now, that's great for us, but not so great for the wasp. Because unlike the capra fig, the female fig's flowers cannot support her eggs. Almost all the fig varieties we grow here ripen into fruit on their own. Black Mission, Brown Turkey, Cadota, Adriatic. They don't need the wasp to bring in pollen because they're self-fertile. It's called Parthenocarpy, and you can learn all about it in our seedless fruit and vegetable video. I'll put the link down below. The only kind of fig here that does need the wasp is the Calamerna, and it's grown almost exclusively as a dried fig or for dried fig products, like the filling in your Fig Newton. So what about those calamernas? Are you crunching on dead wasps inside your Fig Newtons? Well, the answer might surprise you. See, figs contain a protein-digesting enzyme called ficin. Ficin is essential.